Hello guys, welcome back. This is Jalad of GMAC Productions and welcome back to another tutorial for today. Now, I've read a lot of my YouTube comments there and they're asking if I can do a tutorial on the alpha sampler. And yes, I'll be very happy to do that right now. So let's just start. Now, as you can see, Mixcraft Pro Studio 7 is already up. Um, and I'm going to load a sampled sound here. So let's just load a uh, hat. 808 open hat. Okay. Let me just zoom it so that you can see. All right. Now, what is the alpha sampler? Okay, the alpha sampler comes with Mixcraft 7. It's a new feature. Um, it's a plugin that allows you to use a, one sampled sound to MIDI. Okay, so right now, can you uh, play this hat on a MIDI keyboard? You cannot do that, right? Because it's an audio file. MIDI, uh, the MIDI keyboard or any MIDI notes use MIDI notes to play the sound. So basically, just let me play this. Okay, now the alpha sampler can do that. So there are three ways to load a sound on the alpha sampler. So first one is to load it using the load button there on the plugin itself. The second one is to just simply drag and drop this um, sampled sound to the alpha sampler and it automatically loads. And the third one, which I'm going to do right now, is just simply right click this sound. I'm sorry about that. Right click the sound, then copy to al the alpha sampler and the alpha sampler just loads. Um, this is actually a pretty simple plugin, but it's really, really powerful. And now, just for me to show how powerful this uh, sampler is, now once you load the uh, the load any sound on the alpha sampler, it automatically creates another track, an instrument, and a MIDI track that is named the alpha sampler. So basically, what once you see that, you just click on the piano icon. And um, let me just use a key, uh, the musical typing box so that you can see it because if, I, if I'm going to use a keyboard, you won't see that. So let's just use this one and then let's just organize this here so you can see what I'm doing. Then we'll close this. Now, let me just play a sound for you using my computer keys. So that one sampled sound became a lot of notes. It actually copies the notes of the key keys on the keyboard. And it's also polyphonic. Okay. So basically you can also uh, do another octave and another octave, right? So let's just go back to the first one. So isn't it great, guys? So the alpha sampler is grouped into six. Okay, there's the volume envelope, the pitch, the output, the filter, the mod wheel. And at the bottom, you could choose monophonic if you want just one sound. If you, you just want sound to, to, uh, to sound on your keyboard, the loop, and the reverse, which is my favorite. And there's also the root key there. I'm going to show you how that works. Now, I'm, I'm not going to tackle on what a volume envelope is or what does that mean. But for those who are really uh, using a lot of synths on their production, you know pretty much how this works. Now, for those who are newbies, guys, just research on what a volume envelope is, what a pitch is, filter, mod wheel. And it's pretty much um, easy to learn. Um, so... Let me just tinker um, the groups right now. So for volume envelope, let me just tinker on the attack and let's see what does it's uh, what it does to the sound. Okay, it actually lowered down the volume. Now let's go to release. Let me just. Go back to the attack. Okay, now let's go to pitch. 
this pitch fine tune is up to 100 cents. Okay. Now let's rubberize it. Let's see. Wow. It became a different sound. Let's, let's go to another octave lower. Now the filter um, is using a classic low pass filter. So let me just check. Let's check it out. It didn't create a sound at all because I cut it off. So let's just go back. The, the resonance. Okay, now we can actually choose any of these sine waves. So let's choose a square wave. Okay. So it the sound changed as well. So let's just choose a loop. So it, it it's like a delay. I'm gonna show you. Let's just um, lower down the octave. Wow. on reverse. I'm sorry about that. It like it, it actually sounded like a white noise. Right? So let's just click on the root key as well. So let's just change the key to F3. With this, let's just change it to F4. Okay, let's just change it again to a B4. Good. So, have you noticed this, the change on the sound? We just see so you imagine all the possibilities that you can do just using the alpha sound for guys right so there's a lot of ways that you can use this sampler you can actually load lots of samples here um, you can load symbols I just loaded a hi-hat I'm um, just load um, a kick drum um, load a lot of percussions you know just one sound, a lot of possibilities, a lot of sounds from just one sound. So guys, check the Alpha Sampler out. Use this for your musical productions. This is really a powerful plugin, guys. Check this out. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Um, thank you guys for watching all my videos on my YouTube channel. Wow, my keep on subscribing, guys. Keep on liking my videos. Have a great day. Thanks a lot. I'm so, so happy that you guys are just, you know, are very supportive on what I do. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Cheers. Bye-bye.